Well, hi guys, my farmhouse is all repaired now. I'm looking pretty good. Got a skylight and a few little corners and nicks need to be fixed. But um, while I was doing that, I brought this over here with a uh, <coughs> editable storage capsule station. Uh, very strange wording, but a really powerful world editing tool. In fact, there's no end to the experiments I can think of for that. Let me quickly do a foray down to the south here. Where is it? My Red Rocks base. Actually, I'm thinking of capturing this slime cloud also. Ha 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 ha. Hovers over Beaverton right now and just drops the uh, slimes down on it all the time. But I bet if I put the uh, stage, the uh, capsule station right at the bottom of that and cranked up the size just right, I could bring a whole uh, slime cloud home and put it on my front yard. But for right now, I want to go to my Red Rocks base. Really just barely got started on this, and I do wish it wasn't night. Occasional little cheat, because I'm the admin and I'm trying to teach people stuff. Red Rocks are cool. I like this sparse, weird armadillos, little, uh, little cactuses. Hey you, what you doing? But this right here, that was my little base base, but here's... I thought that was lava pouring off the end, it's like another meteor, damn it! But let me see quickly how high we have, how big a chunk of rock we got to work with. That's a pretty big chunk of rock. So what I'm gonna do here... Unfortunately, I think the red rocks are only a little veneer about a... Oh, I don't know, four or five blocks deep? Let me do a quick... Uh, recon of this. So this might not end up being the best example, but... Yeah, it turned into stone, not too far in there. So, it'll be a... Uh, it'll be a weird example, but uh, let's just go quickly. Stone, stone, stone. I just have this theory. It's something about uh, the Russian the way the Russian stacking dolls are. Let me see, if I go in... What I want to do is cut out a 9 by 9 by 7 chunk of this solid stone. Of course, I have no way to know whether there's caves. Of course, now there's gravel in the middle. But um, just to make an instant base as a construction tool, uh, this is certainly this capsule station can function as a really good construction tool. I was hoping to get a solid block of uh, the uh, red rocks, but as I say, it's only just a thin layer on the surface. Let me throw stuff in the bag because I'm always, always overloaded. Straw stone, done with the glass for now, done with the wood for now. Got a couple red rocks, I don't need that. So let's go with the editable capsule station, because I want a specific size here. And what I want, just instant construction here. I got a, I think I'll just put this one in my pack, because it keeps popping into my hands, confusing me, because they all look the same. Alright, so the idea is I have an empty capsule. I want to set this to a width. Oh, that's the total width, not, not a radius, right? Okay, width of 11, height of 7. Let's hit it. Poof, I have an instant work area. Instant base in the mountains. And the next part of the demo is going to be a little bit ugly. Oh, and some free diamonds I wouldn't have known about. This could be really good for boring out um, out of the ground. Just boring out, oh, what was I going to say, uh, mob grinders, because you could quickly make a few level, just a gigantic tube, maybe uh, tw 20 blocks deep, a 5x5 five five pit of doom. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So, like I say, another use for the uh, editable storage capsule station is to make an instant workplace for yourself in the mountains. But that's not all, boys and girls. There is one other thing I was going to try. Let me just zap on home, just because this is my f base of uh, experimentation. God, you armors still scare me. 
gonna put you somewhere a little less in my face all the time. All right. Now what I was thinking, now I've got this chunk, I was hoping for solid stone or solid red rocks so I can make a little bedrock style village, but you know, it's Minecraft, you never know what you'll get in any particular size chunk of the, the world. But what I want to do is come over here, just purely as an experiment. Don't know if it's going to work or not, but I do have all kinds of craters to cover up, so woohoo! Let's do... now that one is kind of kooky. Um, What's a good one to cover up here? Oh heck, I'll do it. Now, see, I put it... Now the thing is, again, I put the capsule on top of the ground, which means it's not going to have a bottom. So, heck, just for now, just to keep it short, let's regurgitate. How can I even get to it? I was going to put a uh, giant chunk of rock around me. Jiminy crickets, that's dangerous. Oh, and now my storage capsule is somewhere in the middle of the frickin' cube. Okay, well, the, the point of this experiment was supposed to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the point was supposed to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I gotta go get my capsule. But not really. That's not really what happened. I did not lose my capsule like a big dummy, just randomly. It's still dead center, right? It's still dead center. I have no idea why there's a path going into it on that side. Oh, that was my original, uh, right, that was my tunnel to get in. So, that was cool. It was set to a width of 11, a height of 7, right? So what do you suppose happens if I go a width of 9 and a height of 6? and hit it with the capsule again. <coughs> Poof! I have an instant building... instant building shell. And it's cool, it's got the... all the... I really like having all the just random extra ores and globs and bits of stuff. That is funny. And then I can go over here and guess what? I was telling you about the... the, the famous Russian stacked dolls. Now, let me see, that's gonna line up. How about if I go here... Now, I'm doing this because there's a... I know there's a pathway going into it on this side, so... Poof, I should be in my pathway, look at that. That's cool. Now, guess what happens? You can guess what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna reduce it down to 7 and a height of 5 and hit it. And now I have another building. Woohoo! Woohoo! Fun, fun, fun. It's kind of a weird one. But, guess what? It's, I know it's getting a little bit small. It's getting smaller each time, but that was kind of the gag, is to make the Russian stack dolls housing complex. And I'm thinking this is the last one that's going to be really meaningful, as a width of four and a height of... width of five, height of four. Hit it. I have another building with one minor glitch in the ceiling. So, there we go. The Russian Stack Dolls instant row of buildings <laughs> brought to you by the Editable Storage Capsule Station from Dungeon Craft. Boy, the other players are just going to wonder what the heck have I been doing over here. That is just funny. Alright, well... Now I'm going to put little roads in between, and it's an instant village. Of course, I'll probably lop off the top corners, but I do like having the uh, the cross-section of the, uh, the original mine. Having the silly redstone inclusions, and that is funny. So, there's a very funny use for the editable storage capsules and the storage capsule station. You can make instant villages. Just you go into a mountain, dig yourself a giant hole, and then bring that hole home with you, and make the center progressively smaller. Just remember to back out and stand in your walkway that you used for access to the original mountain. And that's funny, this was originally part of that Red Rocks Mountain, see? Alright, well, that experiment went exactly as planned. That's always a good thing. Oh yeah, I was going to say, and, and what do you do with the last little bit that you don't want? Well, I don't know, I could use it to uh, fill fill in this ridiculous mess. Kablam!
very handy. Just gotta dig my way to the surface, claw my way to the surface. So there, I partly plug the hole, and I can throw some dirt on top of that, or of course I could just leave this final chunk for mining. That would be fun. Oh, here is a uh, previous experiment. My first demo didn't go nearly as well. I got the wrong size radius. And I accidentally scooped out a gigantic chunk of uh, land, including part of one of my roads. And uh, somehow the radius changed at the last instant and uh, ended up with this whole chunk sitting here. It's actually, now that it's snowing, it, it almost fits in. It's, it's really neat. So, gotta be careful. I recommend being careful with these capsule stations, but there, I'm gradually filling in all the meteor damage and making weird little rectangular buildings to boot. No, I'm not Canadian, I just said it that way for a comical effect.